front where it says Ames real big. Well, hello, everyone. Happy to have you here. You know, sometimes when I'm out in my travels doing one thing, surprises happen, such as the, the event of this video. You know, I had taken a day out to Streetsboro, Ohio to go to a few places. I was trying to look for Hi8 tapes for a camcorder that I had acquired, and I knew I could find them somewhere and just had to search around, and my travels took me out to Streetsboro. But on my way back, I was driving along scenic routes, and I would end up somehow getting into Ravenna, Ohio. Larry wishes he could have been there. <laughs> but he's happy to be here now. Anyway, while I was out there, I would be traveling through some smaller towns, and I ended up in Ravenna. I love when he bombs a shot. It's cute. Anyway, while I was out there, I came across the railroad tracks there. I came across a few different lines going through the area, including CSX and Norfolk Southern. Well, I would happen to be crossing one of the sets of tracks, and it would be the Norfolk Southern Cleveland line. You know, when trains go through the Pittsburgh area and they go out west, they normally take the Fort Wayne line, jump off of it onto the Cleveland line to get back onto the Fort Wayne line past Cleveland. So where I was at, it was technically the Cleveland line, but traffic was going to and from Conway Rail Yard in Pittsburgh up towards Cleveland. And when I was going across that railroad crossing, I saw headlights coming up the track. So naturally, I pulled over immediately and stopped to get a video. <laughs> and I caught a few trains there, but the star of the show was catching a manifest that was going westbound towards Cleveland that would have the Wabash Heritage Unit on there as a mid-DPU. You know, the first train was just a tanker train, and then the third one was a coal train. The one in the middle there was the Manifest, which had a lot of interesting cars on it. But to catch the Wabash unexpected like that was a pleasant surprise. So, without further ado, I'm not going to talk about it anymore and bore you. I'm going to take you trackside to a new location that I can't wait to go to, because I love the way you get a nice long shot down the tracks on one side, and on the other, you have a curve as they go around and go out of view. So anyway, let's go out to Ravenna and enjoy. What do you say, Larry? You want to do that? <laughs> All right, enjoy.
Looks like it's going to be coal. Alright everyone, well I hope you enjoyed that video. That was a lot of fun putting that one together unexpectedly like that. That's the best type of video. You know, after I caught that first train, I was there with another rail fan who had spent some time there and we were just starting to talk and enjoy the day even though it was pretty cold. And after that first train came by, we heard horns in the distance and that's how we knew another one was on its way and that's when we caught the Wabash Heritage Unit. And then, after standing there for a little while, we would hear the bells go off at the crossing before we even knew a train was en route, and then sure enough, we get that coal train. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed getting to check out a new spot and catch some trains somewhere I hadn't caught them before, even though it's kind of part of the same network that I catch trains on when I go to Beaver County and get them there at Highland Crossing and New Galilee, or when I go to Berea in Ohio and catch trains there. It's basically the same network, but it was fun catching it somewhere different. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and you know, as always, take care and stay awesome, everybody. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye, Larry. Hey, say bye to everybody on there. <laughs> he just wants love and affection. <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. He lived down by the railroad track, had no wood stove in a one-room shack. Shoestring was the only name he had When I'd skip school he'd take me fishing Sitting on the creek bank talking and wishing Things were good whenever times got bad And the people say Shoestring you ain't got no money Shoestring you can't hang around here Shoestring you got your hat on backwards He knows more than most folks do he don't talk unless you ask him to When the winter comes and the wind blows me Shoestring hops that southbound train Rides it down below that Florida line but he's laying low and picking fruit, sleeping in his worn out shoes. But he'll always come back come summertime. And the folks say, Shoestring, you ain't got no money. Shoestring, you can't hang around here. Shoestring, you got your hat on backwards. He knows more than most folks do, but he don't talk unless you ask him to.